Hello guys and welcome back to another part of the Hampton Legacy. We're on part 18 now. It's kind of unbelievable. Um, I have a few things to explain. So I didn't save my file last time I was done recording. So I had to go back and play in my own time and kind of get the family back to where it was and I had to age Amity up and redo her entire makeover. I got it as close as possible. Yeah, it turns out last part there was a lot of things that changed, like we had a baby, I had to make sure the baby was the same gender, with the same traits, and the same name, and wow, I was so mad at myself. But it's okay, so I'm just basically telling you this because if you see any um, differences or you notice something's different, like I don't, mon it's Monday, it's 7 a.m. right now in game, and I don't know if, when we left off, but... Uh, so that's the reason why. Secondly, thank you guys. Yeah, you. You that's watching this because every time you click on my video, you support me. And it is probably because of your help that I made it. I'm like at 100 and... No, 100. I'm at like 224 subscribers now and it just like... It's so cool. It's a good feeling to know that I'm expanding and I'm reaching more people. And I get to make friends with more people and just reach out and I don't know. It's just a good feeling. And really, I, I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. All I did was put out stupid videos of a silly game. And you guys like it. And you like my personality and I love chatting to you. And it's because of you that I am where I'm at. So, thank you. Anyways, so I guess we'll just play the game now. Um, sometimes I have to remind myself that this is not a vlog and I need to, like, do what I'm supposed to do. So, it looks like What's-Her-Face, Tegan, <laughs> What's-Her-Face, that's rude, is getting up and getting ready for school and Amity is still asleep. She probably needs to get up. Uh-oh, looks like Amity is feeling a little off today. She might be a little more rebellious than usual. That's lovely. I love rebellious teenagers. That's the best. Where is Ainsley? Okay, she's still in bed because she kind of gave birth in the middle of the night last night. So, I think she deserves to stay in bed. No hate. Why are the babies in the wrong crib? Excuse me, can you like fix this? Put Adriel here. And then get... What is... God, I can't remember all these names. Tyler. What is it with me and names? I swear, it's so bad gotten to the point where I'm just like I don't even know I shouldn't be allowed to know names girl you just not getting up you better go to school what you doing your bus is here you crazy kid go school not in session why I don't get it oh you go at nine I don't know I'm so confused shouldn't the bus like be here What's happening? <laughs> Greetings from the Lotso family. We heard they- Oh my goodness, take it back. We don't want the freaking imaginary friend. Take it back and shove it up your face. Please. We do not want that. Alright. Whoa, this baby's like sideways. We could not get a good portrait of him, I guess. Look at that. Sorry, man. We got a picture of your butthole for the <laughs> for the <laughs> for your thumbnail. Sorry about ya. You're just gonna have to live with it. No, wrong baby. Wrong baby. Hold. All right, come on. I'm so glad she can help with the kids now, cause now Ainsley can just chill out and do nothing. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pot him here. Pot him in the crib. If you guys had a f if I had a face cam while I recorded these, oh my goodness, my face! I just feel like I make the strangest faces, and I think it's a good thing I don't have a face cam because there'd be some really nasty snapshots circulating on the internet of me, which that's cool. There already are out there if you look hard enough. Some pretty nasty uh, screenshots of my streams. <laughs> Anyways, oh look at this! Someone tweeted me. How cool. Alright, so, what am I doing? I ask myself that every day. Can you put her in the crib? Thank you. 
How come you didn't go to school? I don't understand. School's not in session. Well... What? Are you just, like, magical and you don't have to go to school? I don't understand. Are you just some kind of magical fairy that can omit school out of your life? Okay. It is 10 a.m. Wakey, wakey. No, you can keep sleeping. You gave birth. I forgive you. We'll just make your child take care of your other child's. Oh, can you feel the dog bowl? Not feel it, fill it. Thanks. Let's let's do this. Let's let's go. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go. I had coffee. Just a statement. I thought you guys should know. Mm -hmm, I need to look at the time and make sure that I don't go for like 50 minutes. All right, fill that bowl, girlfriend. Fill it up. We need to get you a boyfriend. This guy hasn't aged up yet. Marcus Cagle. We need him to age up. Tegan is feeling ill. Well, that's why you shouldn't leave your house. Because when you leave the house, you get sick and bad things happen. So I say you just stay in your room forever. A small collection of relics are on display in the school's foyer, and the school is asking for a student contribution. Specifically, a common relic from Egypt or China. No! You're asking a child to go to China. Childs don't go to China without their parents' money. And parents don't got no money, so a child can't go to China. Alright, no! <laughs> I can't get over that thumbnail. Alright, everyone has a dirty diaper. Like, just stop. Uh, Ainsley, can you please get up? You're a bum. Get up. You're distant friends with your daughter. You need to fix that crap. Who can cheat? She needs- can teenagers make like a dating profile or something? What the heck? Her best friend is her friend's mother. Actually, her acquaintance's mother. That's her best friend. Well, now we know that you're a creep. Okay, let's go potty. Not let's. Her. Aw, cute little ducky's looking at the bag bye how did we have two babies at the same time? Oh, he's aging up today. Thank you. All right, we need to pop out one more of those things. I think that we should adopt just to because she's getting older. I don't think she can handle another pregnancy. And I think that adopting is a good thing to do in the world because there's so many children out there that deserve a loving home. So let's do it. Let's adopt another one because we need five. And adopting is good. But the only problem is, is like the adopted child can't be the heir because it's technically not carrying around the bloodline. But it's it's cool. We'll, we'll do that. I'm going to do that right now. Like without even asking. Uh, what's his name? Gavin. Gavin? Right? Gavin? We're not even going to ask him. That's how baller we are. Okay. Did you just break the toilet? Because you're going to have to shove your face in it if you did. That's called parenting. That's how I'm going to parent my children when I grow up. Having a mood swing. Why didn't you go to school and do something with yourself? I don't understand. How come school's not in session? You just magical person, you? Like, I'm, I'm saying, I'm having the strangest glitches with The Sims 3. I really am. What does she want? She wants to throw eggs at a Sims house. Alright, boo. Let's do it. A formal dance is happening soon. It's going to be on Thursday at 6 p.m. So get your designer duds ready to tear up the dance floor. Anyone that wants to go should try to find a date. Okay, well. Um, all of her friends are children, so... You know, skip school. You already did that, hon. You got it covered. She wants to insult a teen. Wow. Ooh, ooh, you're so scary, Amity. You want to insult a teen. All right, first of all, let's go egg someone's house. Who's this? Bolin. Don't we know them? That'd be kind of weird to egg someone's house that we don't, I mean, that we do know. Well, let's find someone else. Let's, there's not really that many houses in this neighborhood. Let's go just, this is empty. This is empty. Why are all these houses empty? This one's not. Go here. Fast. My little love muffin. 
and we are going to throw eggs. There isn't anyone home to prank. Oh, they have to be home to prank them? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Good luck with that, because with story progression, they never come home ever. Like, ever. Ever. Well, that's really stupid. That's, like, actually really stupid. Um, let's see. Um, this house is empty. Empty. This is stupid. Stupid. Alright, well, whatever. She can just go there in the rain and be whatever. Gavin got a $4 raise. Congratulations. You can have dinner tonight then. Thanks for that. <laughs> I'm being really weird today. Whoa. I did not want to do that. Go back. Look at his cute little butt. His burrito butt. All right, girlfriend. What's wrong with him? You're just like holding him and all up in his face, but he's just like, bitch, I be hungry. Can you feed me something, please? All right, let's feed him. Oh, that's the wrong person. <laughs> okay. Oops, I forgot. We're going to adopt a kid right now without telling Gavin. Oh, Tegan's class will be taking a field trip tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Call for services. We're going to adopt a child. And then Gavin's going to come home and be like, what the? How can you make these kind of decisions without me? How can you? All right, let's, um, okay. Adoption service. Fantastic. What age should they be? Gosh, she's so pretty. You're my favorite sim ever. How does that make you feel? Yeah, I feel the same way. Um, <laughs> this house is still unfinished. It's really gross. All right. Bitch, you're getting a job. I'm excuse the French today. But I'm just in one of those moods. That's what it is, kids. French. But French is bad, so don't speak French. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Congratulations, Moises. Who is that? Moises? Who names her kid Moises? I'm pretty sure... What the heck? Alright, Moises. Nice to meet you. Congratulations! Gavin got promoted to a campaign intern! As well as a bonus of $420. Your diligence has been noted. And you'll work the remainder of this campaign as an intern. Copies, copies, copies. Post flyers, call potential donors, fetch coffee, keep the staplers in prime condition, and most importantly, be charismatic about it. This campaign, or at least the coffee machine, cannot succeed without you, Gavin. You are a vital part. You'd like to adopt. That's wonderful. We'll send a social worker out to visit you right away. Okay. What does that mean? Do we have to get approved? Because once they walk in this house, they are not going to approve us. He is exhausted. Let's have him go. Uh, let's nap. Because, yeah. Okay. Ainsley, can you please cook dinner? Why is it serve lunch? We want dinner. Well, whatever. We'll serve. Alright, what? Okay, no. Another baby? Should we do it? Hmm. I'm going to have to go off camera and think about this. You know what? I'm going to ask Twitter. Be right back. Going to ask Titter. Titter has spoken. So, Sim Cutie, aka at sign S K U T I E E, Scooty, that's what I like to call her, Scooty. She said that I should make a male toddler, so, sure, let's do it. What would we like to name the new adopted kid? All right, let me consult Titter one more time. All right, this time I looked back on part 17 and Coconuts Diddly D, love the username by the way, like for real, so, gave me like a list of names and I pick Hayden. I think that is so cute. So let's name him Hay. Oh, it's not even typing. Wow. I'm so smart. Smarty pants. Hayden. All right, cool. So we're all good. Let's do it. Let's do this. All right, maybe we should get a bed for him. Let's wait till the social worker comes and brings the 
Gavin's just like, who is this person bringing this baby? Take it away. I don't want it. I don't. Hello, magical lady stork bringing my new child. Apparently you have a toddler crammed in that basket. Fantastic. Is anybody going to get him out of there? Oh, here he is. Oh, he's cute. He's got a little cute hat on. Hayden. Oh. Well, is anybody going to get him out of there? Or are we just going to leave him there forever? Because, I mean, we don't really have a bed for him. So maybe he can just sleep there and feed himself. I mean, why not? <laughs> oh, look, it's Hayden. It's a basket. Why is she going to get him out? Our first look at our little bunny son. Cutie poop. Alright. So like I said, he's not eligible to be the heir because he's not actually part of the bloodline. Because that's just how legacy rules are. I'm not discriminating. But, okay. I just thought that we should just be done with children for now and have our five and just raise them and get the frick over with. I'm done with easily birthing kids. Alright, so she needs to definitely cook some dinner. Let's serve dinner and let's make it Gooby Carbonara because that sounds delicious. I don't even know what that is. Makes me think of Goofy, the Disney character. Somebody's telephone is ringing. Is it you? Bro, answer your phone. Alright, we should get another crib for Hayden. Let's get him. Dang, is he going to share this tiny little room? Gosh, I need to build more. I mean, for now, they're going to have to all share just because. Um, That's just how it is. But I do have a lot of space downstairs that I have not opened up yet. And I will do that soon. They probably don't even realize that they have like more space in their house. Anyways, we're just going to get him to share. Wow, I don't even know if that's like possible in here. We're just going to put him in there, I guess? I don't know. Um, maybe I'll just actually, um, no, 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 okay, whatever, let's see. Let's take this out. Alright, the changing table, what am I doing? Don't answer. Oh my goodness, move objects on, please. Thank you. All right. Okay, and we'll put the changing table. Mm. Uh, here. And we'll put this. These toys. We'll move them. And this little box thing. And then we will match the colors because matching things make my OCD feel good. Okay. Hello? Okay, thanks. Thank you. I'm talking to the crib like it's actually alive. You know what? I do this every day. I talk to a game like it's actually alive. It's quite fun. You should try it sometime. Um, alright. Where is the new child? I mean, okay, wait. Did Amity adopt this child or did Ainsley? Like, she hasn't even touched him yet. Whatever. Man, you're such a good sister. I swear. I would not take care of my younger brother like that. <laughs> Alright, we need to change him. Let me go edit him and um, create a sim really quick. should adopt people because look how happy he looks he is so freaking cute and his eye color is to die for like if i had that color eyes i'd be set for life too bad he can't be the heir because he is really cute and i get the feeling he's gonna grow up and be a lot cuter than our fugly children that we have because <laughs> gavin's nose is just weird and it like made all the children ugly but 
Um, yeah, he's not allowed to be there, but he's still adorable, and I'm going to love having him around. So, real. All right, so what were we doing? Oh, she was cooking dinner. At, yeah. Why is it dark already? It's only, like, seven, <laughs> which I guess that's kind of late. Gavin, get up, man. What you doing with your life, man? He doesn't even know. He hasn't even woken up. Like, he's going to walk outside and be like, hello, who's the random child that's in our high chair? Because that totally makes sense. I would probably flip crap if I walked outside my bedroom and there's a random child that my wife adopted. Yeah, I'd be like, if I was Gavin, I would just be like, what? The actual fudge. Get up, man. Go sit. Oh, she's going to cook on the dirty stove right next to the cat. And, you know, so she can pluck some hairs and sprinkle them in there. Make it nice and flavorful. Everybody loves cat flavor, right? Am I right? Ainsley has just improved her cooking skill to level three. We're all so proud. Look, she's the only one taking care of this kid. <laughs> I feel bad. Hayden Hampton, that has a ring to it. It does. It does. It has a ring to it. Okay. <coughs> she burnt the di All right, everybody get leftovers. Jeezy bread, you can have some. Oh, I don't even think she's hungry. Um, You can have some birthday cake. You can have some nachos. <laughs> This is the most random dinner. Everybody, everybody's just gonna grab some leftovers. We have a good fridge. It's like not. Where is she going? I told her to clean up the. I I I see you taking a shortcut. Got it. Um. Oh, is it his birthday? I see. It's Tyler's birthday! We're gonna have another toddler. What did I just do? I have two toddlers. I'm going to have three. Oh my goodness, what did I do to my life? What did I do? Alright, forget the kid growing up and come eat dinner. The days have flown by and Tyler is now a toddler. He needs a lot of caring for him, but he can also learn basic sim skills like walking and talking. Alright. Oh, we never even looked at Hayden's skills. He's good. And loves the outdoors. That's cool. Tyler is bald. All right, let me edit number two and create a sim <laughs> real fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, this child is cute. He has the same color eyes as Hayden, even though they're not related. Oh my goodness, he is cute. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling him as the heir. I really am. I hope you guys agree because look at his face. He's so cute. I can't wait to see what he looks like when he grows up. But then again, Amity and Tegan were cute when they were younger. And look what happened. I'm just kidding. Everyone's beautiful in this family. I love them. All right. Okay. I really hope I didn't go over time on recording because I do that a lot. Uh, nobody ever cleaned up the stanky pile of poop right here. Um, can ya please? Can ya please? Let's see. Clean up. Look! Dinner! The family dinner. One's eating cake and one's eating nachos that are days old, which is disgusting. Those chips have got to be really stale and really disgusting. But who am I to judge what Ainsley chooses to eat? Relations between Lewis Cagle and Abby Cagle have turned sour after some bitter name calling on the street the other day. Wow, I don't really give a poop. Oh my gosh, it's kind of laggy. What's happening? All right, so he is exhausted. He's he's out. He out for the night. She needs to pee. That rhymes. It has a ring to it, huh? And then she's going to clean up this crap she calls dinner. 
Kari has reached elder status. She can now start thinking about retirement. Who? Why? Why am I getting all these notifications about people I really don't care about? Why? Alright, Tegan. Um. How about you? Go. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Woo. Woo. Alright. She's going to take a shower and then she's going to go to bed. Because why not? Because YOLO swag. Alright, just answer the dang phone. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. There you go. There you go. Can you clean up this, though? And then go to bed. Alright, I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, so the Hamptons are stirring and getting ready for their day. I'm pretty sure Amity stayed up all night taking care of her siblings, which is really nice of her. But why? Like, is it because she's the oldest? She feels that she has to uh, overcome her parents' bad parenting I don't know. I really don't. Everyone needs a shower at the same time, and it's crazy. Let's, uh, um, somebody can use this. He's going to work, so he needs to use the shower. And, yeah, she can just please take care of the babies. Please just pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. And you, uh, yeah, I really don't know how you're going to make it through school today. Okay, can you get out, Tegan, please? Thank you. And then he's taking a shower. We are all good in the neighborhood. Oh, has anyone, has either Ainsley or Gavin even touched Hayden yet? Where is Hayden? Did we lose him? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Ainsley, Hampton, and all the adults just want a sweepstakes. No, we have too many babies for that crap. No way, freaking Jose. That is not going to happen. Too many babies. Oh, look at his spiffy little new work outfit. You look so hot. <laughs> so hot. So hot. <laughs> if you know what commercial I'm talking about, leave a thumbs up, man. Because, <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure no one knows what I'm talking about the half the time I'm even speaking. So that's a thing. Um, yeah, I just want to get a picture of him going to his first day. Look at the glare on his glasses. So hot. So hot. I'm hot. You're hot. So hot. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. Oh my god, I love her outfit. It's so cute. I hope you make friends today, sweetie. Find a boyfriend. Get married. Bring us grandchildren. Okay, bye. No, we do not want freaking imaginary friends. We will refuse. We, blah, blah. we refuse to have that. Bye. Learn something today. Have a good time with school. Learn something. Don't forget to make friends. Bye. I'm so annoying. Who is this? Moises? Who is this Moises guy? Who's friends with him? Who? Who? Who is friends with this Moises guy? I would like to know. Because he's kind of good looking. And guess what? What Sir Bot needs uh, uh, a boyfriend. Except her name's not What's Your Bot. Alright? And then there was one. Wait, why don't you go to work? What's your problem? You'd rather clean the litter box than go to work? That's, like, you, that must be a bad job because, seriously, the litter box is disgusting. Alright, why are you crying? What do you want? Hygiene. Alright, let's go upstairs and let's give our children baths. Give Tyler a bath. Who is this Moises guy? He's, like, he's some kind of legend. He's getting promoted by the second. Okay. Give him a bath. 
Moises! Stop it! We don't want to hear about your accomplishments. You're making us feel like losers. Alright. Give Tyler bath. Okay, we did that. Now what does he want? He wants to pee and he's tired, so let's put him in his crib. And then what does this other kid want? He, Hayden, would like to eat. Alright, so you need to spend some time with this child that you just adopted. So hold him. And I guess we'll just feed him on the floor. Because we have two screaming toddlers. We don't have time to walk downstairs. Nobody has time for that. I was, this was such a mistake ordering, uh, ordering. <laughs> I'm probably going to get some hate for this, but adopting a toddler because toddlers are so crazy. I love him though, and he has good traits, so maybe he'll be the only, like, normal one in the family. Loves the outdoors and good. What is Tyler's traits? He loves outdoors as well. Oh, I can see them being, like, best buddies. Oh, they have, they both love, they can go hiking and all this stuff together. Oh, I'm so excited. He's excitable, too. All right. What else does he need? He also needs a bath, so we'll just, like, check on Adriel, and then we'll give Hayden a bath. She can... Okay, change diaper. Wow, this is so fun, right? Watching Ainsley take care of kids? Yeah. For sure. Give bottle, and then we're going to bathe. Hayden. All right, guys. So, this is where I'm going to end this part on a fantastically entertaining note where Ainsley is just taking care of three, not one, not two, three babies. I don't know why I got myself into this. I just wanted to raise five children because that's what Gavin wanted. Anyways, yeah. So, I already told you guys from the beginning that I really appreciate you and thank you for being a loyal subscriber. And if you're not a loyal subscriber, then there's no reason that you shouldn't be. Like, if you if you want to join the party, then you totally should subscribe to my channel. And if you like this and want to like it, do that. If you want to dislike it, please don't do that. And, <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!